calling all foodies, explorers, and Denver newbies. Do you know what's in your neighborhood? If so, I have the perfect book for you. It's called Unique Eats and Eateries of Denver, and it's going to take you on a gastro trip to Denver's not-so-common eateries. Author Chad Chisholm is here. He's with his new book, Unique Eats and Eateries of Denver. He's going to take us on a trip around the city. First off, congrats. I love so the book. Thank you so much, Did you do all the photography in the book? I did, yeah. I turned in over 1,200 final images to the publisher for the book. So, wow. yeah, it was a big project. You are so talented. Oh, you. How long have you been a photographer? Um, so, since 2005, and then I transitioned from fine arts photography to commercial in about 2010. Wow, you yeah. keep yourself busy. I yeah. mean, you're all over the place. <laughs> We're looking at your book right now. Tell me the inspiration behind Unique Eateries Denver. Sure. I was approached by Reedy Press, which is a publisher, and they're actually the publisher who does the popular 100 Things to Do Before You Die yeah. book series. So, you can actually find Unique Eats and Eateries in several different cities. So, there's Dallas and Los Angeles, and I'm lucky enough to get to do the Denver book. Are you a foodie? I didn't know you were a big foodie. <laughs> I'm married to a wedding and event planner, so we <laughs> eat out quite a bit for our clients and kind of keeping a pulse on everything in Denver. And we had almost 500 restaurants open in 2017 and 2018, so there's plenty to choose from. You have the best job in the world, it's and so true. does your husband. It's very true. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Are you from Colorado? I am. I grew up in Evergreen. I went to school up in Greeley, and now I live near DU. Oh, so you know everything there is. These are your stomping grounds. <laughs> it's true. It's true. So I got to pull from a lot of childhood memories as well as all the new things happening here I in town. I love that. Uh, talk about how long it took you to write and photograph the book. Sure. The book took me about nine months to shoot, um, and I shot everything in the book, and then about a year to write. So it was quite the process. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, a book, baby. <laughs> I know. A lot of book. Did, yeah. you, did you find a favorite? Um, or you can know, you I, talk I, about I, the favorite? I, I love all of the <laughs> inclusions in the book. My God, so you're such a unique. dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. No, we love everything, and they truly are. They've got their own unique stories, and I love learning all about them. That's like a parent thing to say, right? All the mom and dads watching. And it's like, oh, I love all my children. I don't have a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so what what do you do about the restaurants that closed before the book was out? I sure. mean, there were a couple that did. Absolutely, and there's only been three, so knock on wood. Um, but yeah, we will have a second edition coming out, so we'll kind of omit those ones that have shuttered. But the stories are still there, and they're still relevant. So the history and the story of those yeah. places, even if they've closed, is still, I think, a really interesting read. Not only did you get to experience, I mean, the beauty of Denver going around in these great restaurants, sure. or the great food, yeah. but there, I, ha I would imagine there were some like interesting things you learned that oh, yeah. you didn't know while you were growing up here. Yeah, for sure. And I just, I loved that um, some of them were like ghost stories or they had family recipes. Um, some really focused on their culinary um, skills and uh, different things along those lines. So yeah, it was really interesting to kind of figure those things out and hear those stories and so forth. So. Okay, the name of the book again, just in case you're tuning in, it's Unique Eats and Eateries of Denver. Right there, you got a shot of that book. You need to pick it up. Where can they buy it? Um, you can find it at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Tattered Cover, and a few other outlets. And I know you have an Instagram page that they can follow and get yeah. more information yeah, on. Yeah, absolutely. It's at Chad J. Chiz, C-H-I-S. And uh, so we post a whole bunch of different shots of food and restaurants and things there as well. Good. What's your next project? So I just completed the Colorado Cocktail Cookbook, another fun project. Oh my gosh, you're so, so busy. for more of the 21 and plus um, audience, but it features 58 cocktails from throughout the state. So everywhere from Grand Junction to Denver, Colorado Springs to Fort Collins. Did, so. you, did you photograph that last picture? I did. That yeah. was an amazing, Thank how did you. you do that? Because it was like the Colorado <laughs> symbol. Yeah, I don't know if we could flag. pull that back up. Yeah. So we actually oh. made quite a mess in the studio. It's um, four different shots that we've compiled into one, but it's all different alcohols. So you have like blue curacao, vodka, um, Guillermo and uh, I believe there was a cherry UV um, vodka in there too. Yeah, so, you're yeah. so, I mean, you're creative and Thank very you. talented. <laughs> Thank you so much. How can we connect? If someone's watching and they want photography from you, sure. how can they connect with you? Yeah, absolutely. My company's name is Custom Creations Photography. Um, you can visit us at creationize.com. That's creationize.com. Um, I'm located up in the Sunnyside neighborhood. Our studio is off 38th and Inca, but we do a lot of um, on-site 
photography for our clients. Oh, so good. We come to you. Yay, that makes it easy. <laughs> and when is your next book signing? Tomorrow. Really? So, yeah, just in time for Father's Day. Uh -huh. um, we'll be at the Barnes & Noble on Colorado Boulevard. I'll be there signing books from 1 to 3 o'clock. I might just pop in and surprise you. You should, <laughs> absolutely. We'd love to see you there. Good to see you again, yeah. and congratulations. Thank you so much. I busy, appreciate busy. it. Busy, busy. Pick up your copy of Unique Eats and Eateries of Denver. Do it today. Explore your neighborhood and all of its unique gems, and you can also join author Chad Chisholm at this book signing at the Barnes & Noble on Colorado Boulevard. That's June 15th from 1 to 3 p.m. And check out his Instagram. He's all over the place. It's at Chad J C H I S. Make sure you check it out and connect with him.